Oh, I'm just in love with this. I'm so in love with it. The game, the mod, the track. Try and wipe the swell off my face, I dare you. I dare you, game. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Traction Channel for another brand new video and another episode of John Tries New Things. Except, this week I am not trying a new thing, I am trying an old thing. Because last week we made a video on Live for Speed, which is now 20 years old. And you guys absolutely loved it. Everyone was reminiscing about the good old days of Live for Speed, what it's still like now, the fact that it's such a fantastic game. And this game made up a lot of my childhood as well. So I thought this week I would actually jump back on live for speed instead. As I was saying, LFS made up a large part of my childhood. I used to jump on the game after school with my friends and we would go on cruise servers and all sorts, but there was another element to LFS that we barely touched on in the first video, and that is the fact that you can customize layouts and make some custom autocross tracks, but you can also do it with the main circuits as well. And this opens up an entirely new area of live for speed, which is absolutely incredible. So within the single player menu of Live for Speed, if you click on track, you can see here we've got Blackwood. But you've also got different configurations. You've got the GP track, Historic, Rallycross, and then you also have these X and Y configurations here. Now, as you can see by the map, this opens up the whole map, including, you know, the garages, including the kind of car park industrial area at the back of Blackwood. Everything's open. That's how uh, people are able to make cruise server maps as well. Now within these configurations, for example, if I click Y here on the Blackwood GP track, we have layouts. Now these layouts can be anything. They can be drift courses, autocross courses, demolition derby courses, you name it. Whatever anyone wants to make can be in here. And it's not exactly modding, it's more like a kind of track editor based thing. Now if you go on my own personal YouTube channel and you scroll down to my first ever upload, you'll actually see that it's called LFS South City Sprint. Now I made that video when I was about 14 and that was an important time for me and sim racing because I was only a couple of years away from jumping in a real race car and doing some hill climbs and sprints in Scotland. And this was kind of the only way where you could really practice uh, route sim racing, so from A to B, tight corners, twisty tracks, all that kind of stuff. And these uh, downloadable circuits on Live for Speed were probably the closest thing I could get. So for me, this was just a hugely important part of my childhood, and that's what I want to revisit today. Now, downloading these layouts is actually a very easy process, which I'm going to talk you through real quick right now. Head over to the Live for Speed forums on the main website, which is lfs.net forward slash forum, and then click on a folder called Autocross Layouts. In here, you'll find a whole host of things to download, so click on one that sounds good to you, and then you download a file ending in .lyt. You then go to your LFS directory, then data folder, and then the layout folder in which you paste the LYT file. That is pretty much all there is to it because now we're on LFS. If I go into the tracks, if I click on West Hill, I click on International X, which is the configuration that's loaded here, and we have the stage. So now I click OK, and here we are. Off the line in our Westfield lookalike. And as you can see, you've got this kind of custom stage. So let's just take a little drive through this one. Oh, bit of a windy bit through there, but just about survived. Oh, we've got some jumps on this one. I don't know how the suspension's gonna cope with that. It's actually feeling okay so far. Tight hairpin coming up around the trees. So it's basically a rally stage. And for me, as a 14 year old, this was just an epic way to spend an afternoon. That is. told me to go left, right? I think we were meant to go straight on and go left at the next bit. But yeah, as I was saying, this was just an amazing way to spend an afternoon or an evening and, you know, leading up to a sprint and hill climb debut a few years later, this for me was my way of preparing for the kind of short and twisty nature of a sprint event. I just absolutely love the way that these layouts involve the kind of roads around the track. You know, it's not just the circuit itself, it's the access roads, it's the bridges, it's the pit lane, the pit buildings, it's everything. And you can obviously go off-road, on-road. Oh no, keep out of the wall. Just about. The hardest bit about these is actually learning the layouts and uh, going the right way, which is not always straightforward. So the creators of these circuits, which I will get to, and by the way, every single circuit I drive today will be available to download in the description below. But yeah, the creators also quite often add in pace notes, so you're meant to do it, you know, as a rally with a co-driver, for example. And that would make things a lot easier, so you can actually learn which way you're meant to go. This car is not set up for rallying. I hope I'm still on the right tracks, but I'm really not sure at this point. Over another bridge. 
Try and use as much tarmac as possible and as little grass. Oh, the physics in this game with the direct drive wheel are just absolutely magnificent. This does not feel like the right way, guys. I'm lost, so uh, I'm probably going to leave that one there. So just for reference, that one was the West Hill Stage Rally by W340. That's the username of the person who created it, so go and check that one out. Uh, I'm basically in this video just going to check out a few tracks. I don't know any of these. There's a, they've obviously been a lot more created since I last did this, so I'm just very excited to kind of do a bit of exploring. There's one here in South City from the LFS Rally Pack created by Carl de Francois. This is uh, a proper stage through the whole of South City. Apparently it's quite long. I'm going to do this in the Formula BMW just because obviously that brings back memories of doing South City events in the Formula BMW when I was a kid. It's also just a bit of an epic car, to be honest. We'll leave everything on default setup-wise. And uh, yeah, let's give this one a bash. Okay, all of these, of course, are one lap because they are point-to-point. -point. Now, you can do anything with these tracks as well. There's drift circuits, there's obviously rally stages on the gravel, there's the tarmac focus ones, there's proper autocross as well. There's so much you can do. Now, I think we've got to stay left of the barrier here, basically. Oh, no! Try again. Back underway. Got to be a little bit more careful, especially because you don't know these layouts and they're very tight and twisty. Without pace notes, I'm going to have to really, really be careful about braking nice and early and just making sure I get around cleanly. There's my marks from earlier. I don't actually have a clutch pedal as well, so I'm actually using a button on the steering wheel as a clutch, so you got to be careful in LFS. Nice and narrow bit through here. You can get a bit of speed up, but I don't know when the tight corners are going to come, so I'm just going to hit the brakes just to be safe. Obviously, as you learn these circuits, you're going to be able to go faster and faster, and that was a big part of the kind of preparation for the old sprints and hill climbs. Now, on the website, it said when the barriers were missing, just try and stay in lane. That's kind of how they've, they've worked it, because there is a limit to how many objects you can add under the tunnel. It's a very familiar corner, but we're... Oh, we're stuck on a much tighter line than usual. Into the pit lane entry backwards, which then becomes the pit lane exit. Through another chicane. Around the pit buildings at the back. Such a fun little test of concentration. I'm trying to get this right. Got some braking markers, which really helps. We're going to brake at the 100. Just to be extra safe. Tight corner. Oh, very tight corner. Fully locked up. Full steering lock as well. It's been a pretty tidy run so far. I've probably just cursed it. Got a chicane coming up. A bit scared about breaking points. We're going to go nice and early because we can see it. That was alright. Into another one. Easy. I'm already tired and I have no idea how far I've got to go. This is my first run through all of these stages properly, so... I am completely clueless, and if I make it to the end, it'll be a miracle. Turn back down the hill towards what is usually flat-out left-hander. But you've just got to completely reconfigure your brain for this. 314 at that split point. You can probably remember these times and have a go at them yourself as well if you have LFS. Oh, that was committed through there. Nice. Scared. Locked up. You just cannot afford on the first run through to take risks. There's a huge amount of fun that comes with learning these and just trying to get faster and faster and faster. So much satisfaction to be had. <laughs> oh, it brings me so much joy. It really does. And nostalgia and everything. Oh, a jump! Oh, that's not designed for this car. You can see why this was originally designed as a rally stage. But look at this, we're in a completely different part of South City now. A part you might not even be aware of, even if you are an LFS player. I've probably got a broken car now, because you can't really turn damage off as far as I'm aware with Live for Speed. Oh, that's way more open than I expected. At least we can actually see the corners for once. A bit scared of getting up any decent speed just without knowing what's coming up. Oh, that's the finish line, okay. Lack of traction finishes, we break through the Armco barrier, but 5.22 was our time. That was great fun, absolutely brilliant. For the next one, I'm going to head over to Blackwood, everyone's favourite venue, and there's a super stage here by Osen, who's a Swedish user, has created lots of stages by the looks of it. Very excited to try out this. And I also want to have a look at another element of LFS. Now, this wasn't a thing when I was a kid, but we now have mods, of course, and I am instantly drawn to the Ford RS200. I mean, look at it. There's also bikes as well. I tell you what, let's let's try this on a bike first. Let's try this in a car. We're going to have to go with this mod RS200. I don't know whether to go off-road or tarmac. I'll probably go tarmac. I'm just going to hope that the track doesn't actually go off-road. Here we go. 
And we are underway. And this does not look like Blackwood at all. This car's already huge amounts of fun as well. We're, it looks like we're in the kind of industrial area at the back of Blackwood. And this thing's handling like an RS200. I can't believe even the mod cars, you know, the force feedback's just fantastic. You kind of forget that this game is still active as such at the moment. But this thing I can just chuck around. Lots of 90 degree corners so far on this particular layout as well. I can cope well with that. At least you can actually see what's coming. I'm going to totally regret saying this because it's gonna, <laughs> there's going to be some hidden hairpins at some point for sure. Get the power down. Come on. Turn. Oh, hairpin. Hairpin. Don't have a handbrake. That'll do. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Yes. Got a bit of a slalom coming up now. Is it just one fascia cane yet? I've got a three minute penalty. Oh, I'm on the wrong route apparently. Okay, once you miss a checkpoint, I don't think there's any going back, unfortunately. Oh, we've got a hairpin. Very autocross. Now, are we just going to go back the way we came? The amazing thing for me, guys, is this is just Blackwood. Like, it's genuinely all there, all available. You can drive to these areas and all you need to do is add a few objects and play around a little bit and you've got yourself an amazing rally-based playground. Oh, watch out for that gate. Another chicane coming up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. 22 minutes of penalties is probably telling me I need to try that one again. Let's try it again in a Lister Storm V12, shall we? Here we go. Doesn't quite sound like a V12 Lister Storm. But it's fast. Oh, it's fast. Intense experience. It's putting it lightly. You could just chuck it about. Use the power that it's got. Get out of the corners. Proper tarmac car park rallying, I call this. Let's just try our best to not cut the corners and not get any route issues or track limit issues. Nice and neat and tidy through the hairpin. Who would have thought that the Lister Storm was an epic tarmac rally car? I certainly didn't. And I'm fully here for it. <laughs> so much power and it's got so much grip as well. Oh, I'm just in love with this. I'm so in love with it. The game, the mod, the track. Just sim racing in general, let's be honest. <laughs> oh man. Try and wipe the swell off my face, I dare you. I dare you, game. <laughs> oh, that drift was going so well. I've either completely overheated my tires or I've broken my car because it's now almost impossible to drive. As you can see, no idea what I've done. But I will try and make it to the end. My time's not exactly going to be good, but oh wow, is that fun. You guys will be able to see the replay. You'll probably be able to see the broken car a lot better than I do. I'm hoping we're getting near the end now. It feels like... Oh no, that's let's not do that because it'll give us a wrong route warning. I don't know if it was just the bumps that's broken this car or if it was me hitting a wall I didn't see or curbs, but I have truly broken it now. I'm hoping this is the finish up here. Looks like it. Oh, control. Control. Oh, no, it's not the finish. We're on the gravel. <laughs> oh, it is a proper rally stage. Goody. I'm just picturing this with a proper modern V12 sound. And suddenly you're looking at sim racing heaven. I mean, it's kind of already is sim racing heaven, isn't it? My poor Lister Storm's just like, please fix me. Please fix me. I honestly thought I was getting near the end of this stage just when I kind of turned around and came back. But <laughs> little did I know, this is a full-on epic. I mean, I'm six minutes 50 into it now. I am for sure going to come back and tackle this again at some point. For sure. Over a bridge. Out of the car park. And we're across the finish line. 7 minutes 51. Absolutely terrible. Oh, it's a lap as well. Look, I'm back at the start. You could do a proper race, multiple laps around there. That is just magical. I'm just... Like, I knew this was going to be fun. I remembered how much fun it was when I was younger. I'm just absolutely gobsmacked by how epic this still is. It's just such a hidden gem within the sim racing world. 
Just a reminder, that track was made by Olsen and it looks like Olsen has a lot of different tracks you can try so that's definitely worth looking into. I am going to do one more to wrap this video up. We are heading to West Hill which is the venue for a lot of popular cruise servers. Lots of wide open expanse around the main track as you can see. And we are going to do a layout called the Lorenz Ring. This one was made by the Gamer 23 again links are in the description below and in terms of a car Oh, do I go for it? Do I go the uh, Formula V8 maybe? To be honest, I think the Formula V8 might be a bit much, but the, the FOX, the Formula XR, is probably my favourite single-seater from the game, and this was the one that was probably closest to the hill climbing sprint car I started in, so I'm going to jump in that one. We'll make it plain red, just like the car I started with, and let's jump in and give it a go. Right then, here we go. One last hurrah. Don't need a clutch in this car as well. Pretty sure you can just change without doing any clutch damage. I hope I'm right. <laughs> if not, we're not going to make it very far. And once again, it looks like we're starting off in the kind of paddock area, car park area at the back of the venue. Of course, this car's got so much more downforce than the Lister Storm that I was just driving. So much more grip. Hoping it's tarmac. Because I don't think this thing's going to do too well if we go off-road. <laughs> Up into sixth gear on the service road. I can see a corner coming up, so I'm going to start braking. Could have carried a bit more speed, but that is what this exploration run is all about. We're getting near the actual circuit itself now as well. You can see it on the right there. So I'm kind of hoping that we actually do venture out onto the main circuit at some point. Looks like we've got a chicane coming up here. I'm going to break. Oh, I'm going to break. I'm definitely going to break. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we are then on the main circuit. Okay, West Hill. I wonder how long we'll be on here before we get taken back onto a service road. This thing's maxing out at 133 miles an hour. Okay, I'm seeing barriers there, so we're going to take the chicane route. All nice and tidy. Oh, here we are then. Back off the circuit by the looks of it. This is where you need to really concentrate to work out where to go. Make sure you don't take a wrong turn, which is so, so easy. Split time 213.1. Oh, no. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. The car doesn't feel too bad, so I think I'll just keep going. But that's definitely going to hurt us, giving us a bit of damage. This also doesn't look like I'm going the right way. There seems to be... Well, maybe I am. Am I behind the pit lane? I think I'm behind the pit lane. Looks like we've got another chicane. Is it this way? Oh yeah, maybe I am going the right way. Tunnel into the circuit. Roundabout coming up. The famous West Hill roundabout. Lovely. This is a discipline in the UK, by the way. There are, there are actually circuit rallies, tarmac circuit rallies, and they also go on the gravel service areas and the tarmac service areas as well. So this is something that you can genuinely do in the UK, and I am desperate to do one at some point. Nervous. Under another bridge. I'm going to keep it pinned. Grass! <laughs> Still having a crash. We're okay. Up towards a hairpin. Yes, that is exactly how you want to take that corner back out onto the circuit. Now we can really feel the damage kicking in. Oh, understeer central. They actually, this, this particular layout does use big chunks of the proper circuit, which is nice. A bit different from the other ones I've tried today. And just like that, we're heading back onto a service road. Is that gravel? I hope not. No, nope, we're okay. We're going over the bridge. Amazing. Which way? This way, I hope. Committed. It's probably a stupid idea. Looks like we're back in the kind of car parky area, so I'm guessing we're coming maybe towards the end of the lap. This looks like the start finish line. Just over six minutes to complete with a crash. Terrible driving, but nonetheless, superb fun. Six minutes 11, lack of traction crosses. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Guys, if you've enjoyed it, please do let us know by leaving us a comment, like the video. If you've ever tried this side of LFS, if you've made your own circuits, do let us know as well. And I highly recommend trying this out. Jump in the description, find those links, download some circuits and give it a go because it is something incredible that most people don't even know about. That's going to be it for me today. So until I see you next time, thank you so much for watching. Keep it pinned and have a great day.